everybody and welcome to this week's Transformers Review where we are starting a new theme month this month in Monster Month for Transformers anyway where we will be reviewing the Terracons and today's subject is Terracon leader Hunger and uh, before we get to Hunger let's do our shout outs of the week first back to the media at 48 South Loudoun Street here in lovely, and I do mean lovely, Winchester, Virginia. Right there on the lovely walking mall. Where you can get all your video game needs from the Atari, all the to current systems, and all the uh, things that go along with it. You know, and all the games that go with each system. You can also get uh, stuffed animals of video game people and Pokemon. You know, and CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays, VHS tapes for those that remember VHS. And uh, which was how we watched movies, young people, before we had streaming apps on our phone. <laughs> it shows how times changed in the last 30, 40 years. But, uh, you know, but that's beside the point. And, um, but if you're looking for other collectibles, you can go to 115 South Loudoun Street, the Time Traveler's Toys and Collectibles, to get all your toys and collectible needs from Transformers to G.I. Joe to He-Man to... WWE, AEW figures, and all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, unfortunately, I got hunger from eBay, so there's my shout-out to eBay. You know, which I got Terracons off from uh, eBay. You know, it's one set, and uh, which is pretty cool. But uh, our next venture will be to 80 Weems Lane, four color with stone with four color fantasies. We can get all your comic book needs from... Marvel to DC to IDW, and you could get the such titles as Superman and Batman and Spider Man and uh, the Incredible Hulk and Iron Man and all kind of. And you can also get older issues, current titles. I mean, you get the original Marvel run of GI Joe from there, as well as the IDW uh, comics. So go ahead and please do check them out. And while you're in the area. Uh, and you're looking for Jamaican food, may I suggest uh, going to Piccadilly Street across from the library to Tropical Islands. See Lloyd and his wonderful staff. So go ahead and check them out. Uh, you get your belly full and some good conversation. <laughs> what else can you ask for? And um, if you're looking for a bank and you're in the Winchester area, may I suggest Bank of Clark and United Bank. Both of them are very, very good banks. You know, I've been a member with them with the both of them for a while, so check them out. And uh, while you're in the neighborhood, you can go and check out. Uh, um, but, well, actually, before I say saying that, let me inform you that Cobra Island is a proud supporter of mental health awareness, where you can actually get all kinds of uh, stuff there, you know, and uh, that you need to take care of, take care of some issues. Like going to 133 West Piscowan Street, Suite Number 10, the Healing Grace Counseling Services, and seeing Robert Brown. Very cool dude. He's a good listener, somebody good to talk to. You know, he'll do his best to help you out. So go ahead and check him out. And if he's not given what you need, may I suggest going to um going to go see Northwestern Community Services and seeing what they have to offer. So definitely check them out. And uh, if you're interested and you need insurance, may I suggest going to go see State Farm. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And hey, if you call him, you might speak with Jake. You never know. But let's go into our man, Hunger. You know, and of course, this is a Power of the Primes uh, Transformer. They do come with these cards, you know, with the Primes on the back. Of course, on the front, you get the little Onyx Prime logo right there. The Hunger in his Beast Mode. Transformers Generations uh, logo right there. Decepticon logo right there. Terracons Hunger. And then on the back, it says Onyx Hunger. And it's got four different languages, so I'm going to read the English one. It says, a fearsome... What is it? A, a fearsome, fearsome hunter who devours his prey. And I'm taking those next three languages says the same thing. But that's his little baseball card. 
and his only accessories that he comes with are laser things, which has a peg in the back, which could fit on that peg or that peg. And it also has a peg right there, which could fit in the other two other Terracons right there for it. So it could be the feet of Abominus. You know, he just come with two of them. You know, because Abominus needs two feet. So let's take a look at Hunger in his robot mode. You know, uh, Maroon Hedge is the same color as the feet and the laser guns. His backpack is that same fuchsia pink color. The Septicon logo right there and the homage to the rub sticker they had on the Transformers back in the 80s. You know, there's his tail on the front. And of course, you got his two-headed dragon heads as his feet. You know, with the off-white creamy color with a lot of the gunmetal gray. You know, and um, he does have where you can move his arms this way, like that far. He can, well, move his hands mainly due to transformation, which I'll get to later. You know, and he, he can rotate this way, all the way around, get good range of motion, going front and back, do all 360. And then uh, he does have the elbow joint. And his uh, dragon head, legs, neck thing can move all the way around. It really gets some good motion. You go forward, backwards and back so far due to the legs right there. They can come out and do splits. You know, so that's pretty much it in his robot mode. So let's go ahead and take a look at him in his two-headed dragon mode. So there's Hunger in his dragon mode, which he does have articulation in dragon mode with his neck and his hands can move. You can open up both both mouths, you know, being that his, head, his dragon head does become his feet in robot mode, which you can pose him in any way. And then he also has just 360 round turns for his legs front legs and his back legs do have plenty of articulation well mainly these for this way for uh robot mode they could do the 360 his tail can move this like you know like so due to transformation you know and that's his dragon mode all the way around i think he's a good looking uh good looking two-headed dragon you know but that's my opinion you know and uh I think this is a very awesome, awesome looking figure. You know, and uh, I was glad I picked up this set. And, um, because I really wanted to do some kind of monster theme for this month. But, uh, he's got one more transformation we'll show you in a minute. But I'm going to do that after I do my thoughts of Hunger. This is a top tier figure. You know, I think any combiners are top tiers because I think they're totally awesome. But, uh, that's all well in my book, but, um, you know, I was highly suggest getting the Terracons just cause they're a combiner. And if you're into the mythological monsters, they're a good get, they're a good purchase. Uh, I definitely would get them, but let's go ahead and look at him in his, uh, in the other mode, which is his head and torso of Abominus. So here is the head and torso of Abominus. <clears throat> you know, as soon as we get through Whippersnapper and Center Twin and Cutthroat and Blot, we will have Abominus. So Halloween Day, we will be reviewing Abominus, you know, which is pretty cool. You know, like I said, you know, I would always get the combiners because they always look cool. You know, so that's my uh, review on, on, Whip, on Hunger the leader class hunger so go ahead and you know like i said go ahead and pick them up if you can you can get them at ebay big bad toy store or anywhere you can find uh find these guys that are when they're since they're not on the shelf so go ahead and check them out this has been cobra island and then until all are one see you in the next one peace